Hey everybody, it's Chris, and today we're looking at the Latitude 64 recoil. This is going to be their distance driver release for the 2019 season. The official numbers at this point are 12403, so for comparison's sake, this is going to throw kind of like a beaten enforcer, is what everybody's saying. Uh, and your quick question you're asking is, well, how do you feel about it? And I think that's going to be pretty accurate. You're going to see that in the videos. Now I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that when I got this disc, I hadn't read or looked at any information on it, but I thought I had heard somebody say it was going to be similar to like a flow or a trespass. So I threw it the first time, just trying to get it out to like 300 foot on like a 60% power, and just meat hooks. And I included it in here because I think it's pretty funny, one, but also, if you're a new player and you're not throwing very far, that's probably how it's going to fly for you. Uh, and then you're going to see me power it up progressively, just getting more and more distance until I actually did force one over to get a full flight uh, on the fourth throw before the real comparison start. You do get to see it against the flow, you're going to see they're nothing alike. Um, and that's why for the main comparison in this video, you're going to see a Lucid Defender and an Opto Gladiator. Now both of these discs are 2.3 centimeter rims, so they're 13 speeds, as opposed to the 2.2 centimeter rim for the 12 speed recoil, but the flight characteristics are going to be similar. And in fact, for my body right now, where I'm not getting as much pop and as much velocity as I was at the end of last season because of some injuries, and rehab, and all that good stuff, uh, the 12 speed actually fit me a little bit better. So you're going to see it coming out of my hand a little cleaner sometimes, and I actually got more distance a few times with it as well. That's not to say it's a longer disc. It's just saying that right now, the way my body is working, that 12 speed was flying for me a little bit better than the 13 speeds. So if you're a little bit slower thrower, and the 13 speeds, maybe you're just out of your range, this might be a good option. Now how does it fit against the Enforcer? Like we said earlier, it is going to be less overstable than that. It's not included in the video, um, but it's not as meaty as, say, a Lucid Enforcer. It's more like a beaten in, nicely seasoned Bio Enforcer, maybe. You're going to see me get some turn out of it, either on forces or just a little bit of flat throw, hard, that tips up some. Which a Lucid Enforcer, I have a lot of trouble doing that with. What else can I say about the disc? Uh, 12403 I think is pretty accurate. I had a lot of fun throwing it. Um, you're actually going to see the throw where I hurt my knee or twinked, tweaked my knee a little bit on this one. I'll point it out in the thing and the video. Uh, but as always, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below so I can get back to you. I love dialoguing with you guys about how the disc flies. Um, other than that, I'll go to the film because I have quite a few throws on there. Because it is comparing to the Defender and the Gladiator, I have, I'll have back-to-back -back throws with this one stacked Gladiator Defender so you can see it against both of them. Um, so it gives a good comparison to those two. If you've thrown either one of them in the Lucid brand new, or the Opto, sorry, brand new, you'll be able to compare it pretty evenly. I think that's all I have. Let's go to the video. Hope you enjoy, and as always, thanks for watching. Alright, so here we go out to the field, and here's that first throw I was talking about. I was thinking it was going to be a nice straight disc, and I learned here that no, it was way more overstable than I was expecting. Look at that nice meat hook. It doesn't even cover 270. But it did teach me that this is a different disc than I was expecting. Got to snap it harder. Here's the still not full power. It's going to cover around 330-ish. Nice hard fade at the end. Again, just a little more snap, a little more torque. This one's going to go just over 350, maybe 360-ish. And then I'm going to take it out into the field. This is about 350 to the second pin back there by the trees. A little more torque to turn it over. You'll see that drift right. Hard fade at the end, get toward the basket, 360-ish. And here's that comparison to the flow. Like I said, I already knew it wasn't the same kind of disc. You can see the flow stands up, kicks out to the right before fading back toward the center, whereas the recoil stays flat before fading hard at the end. About the same distance out of both discs, but very different flights. One last throw at the recoil, just a nice flat throw. You can see it riding that pole uh, in the background the entire way before the stability kicks in. Nice reliable fade at the end. This is going to be a fun distance disc to test out. Let's start comparisons now. First up with the Gladiator. Gladiator is going to be too low, just line driven basically into the ground on this one. It never had any uh, height on it. Whereas the recoil is lifted up higher, that extra height is going to give it a lot more distance to fly. This was my fault, not the Gladiator's fault. You'll get better throws in the future. Again, Gladiator is a little bit higher, but I at least had enough height on the Defender that it could push forward. These discs will end up about the same distance out in the field, um, just on different lines. The recoil was turned over more on this one. On my second session, here's the recoil and the Defender. Now, it was a windy day, and it was gusting and swirling, and you can see it on the recoil. These were actually thrown pretty similarly, but the wind really picked the recoil up and just was making it dance. These discs ended up actually almost right next to each other, which was pretty impressive considering all the wind bounces. Here we go with the Gladiator. 
You can see here the Gladiator just never got the turn on it that I got on the recoil, and that was a lot of, based on how I threw it, the recoil just had a really nice turnover line to it, so you're going to see it drift farther right. Again, distance is pretty similar, just left-right difference uh, because of the amount of turn I got on the recoil for that one. Here's that same throw from the recoil versus the Defender. You can see the Defender, pretty standard throw, um, turned a little bit out. It's going to push really far forward. Like I said, these discs are going to end up all pretty similar distances. Straight line ahead, uh, recoil just farther out. Um, but it did have a really nice fade. It actually got back inside the circle, believe it or not. These throws were just basic hyzers. I wanted to throw them flat, let them just drift left. You can see the Gladiator's much lower line, obviously. But the discs will end up pretty similar distances and drifts left because of how much skip the Gladiator got in that low line. Here I'm just trying to throw them hard and flat, get them to go out to the right and fade back towards the basket. Again, the recoil is just a little bit higher, and it's going to be a little bit more outside to the right. Um, so it is going to stay farther right than the Gladiator, but good results out of both discs on this throw. And then that same throw from the recoil, again, is going to be a little bit farther right. But you're going to see the Defender holds that straight line. It's going to stay left side of the basket. Both of these discs will skip toward the pin. Defender will end up finishing left of the pin, recoil to the right. Similar distances actually away from the basket. In recap, the recoil is Latitude 64's 2019 distance driver release. Its 2.2 centimeter rim makes it slightly narrower than a Defender or a Gladiator, but its flight characteristics still keep it in that family of disc, making it maybe slightly more accessible for smaller arms, but definitely still useful for the big arm throwers. If you found this review helpful or informative, please feel free, feel free to like the video, give it a thumbs up, or even share it or subscribe to the page. And keep watching, because here's Guard vs. Dagger. The Guard has been billed as a beadless dagger, so of course it makes sense to stack them up against one another. You're going to see a touch of putting, mostly a lot of throwing, and hopefully some good information. Thanks for watching.